Hello and welcome to the National Youth Film Academy training course for tutors and course assistants. My name is Natalie Kavanagh and I'm the lead tutor on the Set Ready course. Um, the National Youth Film Academy was set up by Rob Earnshaw in 2011 and at the heart of the National Youth Film Academy is about finding the next biggest talent to break the industry and nurturing acting and filmmaking talent to find career paths within industry. Um, what we're going to cover during this course, um, I've split it up into three sections. Um, we're going to talk about what's new on the course for this year. Uh, I'm going to give you a little case study on how paperwork improves filmmaking and then go through uh, the paperwork that we've created uh, for the Set Ready course, which is a tutor planner and a producer pack. Um, and so we'll run through the 10 days um, and how to use these documents uh, to make the course uh, much more smooth running. Uh, you're welcome to provide me with any feedback on this presentation. Um, there'll be a separate document attached in order for you to do that and return it. Um, so what's new? Uh, the logo and branding is new for the National Youth Film Academy. Um, we've gone a lot more professional looking, wanting to uh, match the um, references of the BFI and other institutes uh, in the UK uh, that we admire. Uh, we're wanting to present ourselves um, in a much more professional way within the industry. Um, the location of University of Greenwich is where we're going to be holding the courses this year. Um, it's a beautiful location uh, that is well known uh, as a film location. Uh, on the actual university campus, we're going to be having classes, classrooms um, in number two, which is the Queen Anne's Court, um, I think number three in the Queen Mary's Court, and definitely number seven over there, which is the Dreadnought Court. Uh, there's also CAFs, which are over in the Dreadnought Court, and I think also in the Queen Mary's Court. Um, each tutor group room will look something like this, um, where you've got access to a computer. There'll also be a printer in there for each course, uh, each group, sorry. Um, and uh, yeah, I have already mentioned uh, the CAFs on site, uh, which have got fantastic menus at really reasonable prices for us to use. Uh, we'll also be using their studios, which are on site. Uh, and this is where all the workshops are going to be held uh, for acting, writing, etc. Uh, we'll have use of lecture theatres uh, for the bigger workshops, um, which will also be happening throughout the course. Um, because we're on such a big site now, uh, we're going to be using mobile registration apps so that uh, we are losing uh, the paper register uh, to make it much more easier for the tutors uh, to stay on top of their AM and PM registrations. Uh, the number of groups and their budgets has also changed. So for April 2019, um, we're going to have 450 members, which will be split into 19 groups, um, and there'll be 22 students per group. Um, each group will have a tutor and a course assistant and the budget will be £150 uh, for each group's film. Uh, in August 2019, uh, we will be increasing to 650 members, which will be 28 groups um, with 22 students with the budgets of 150. Um, so with these changes um, is another reason why uh, we are uh, putting a lot more in place to make sure that every group is run smoothly. Um, we're going to be renting with ProCam Rentals um, and there's the kit list, the group kit list there for you to look at. Uh, ProCam have said that they, if you yourself wants to rent um, equipment from them, uh, they will be giving, and you say that you're from the National Youth Film Academy, uh, they will give you a 20% discount uh, for any rentals uh, that you personally want to do as well, which is nice. Um, so we've got a producer's pack for the producers of the each group um, and I will be going through these um, with you 
um, of the paperwork that we are wanting them to fill out throughout the course. Um, and I'll also go through the course tutor planner, uh, which has got information and tick lists and schedule um, for us all to use. Um, how we deliver the shorts to the cinema screen uh, for the last day uh, is going to be different as well. Um, this is Gary Madsen, um, who is a colour grader, um, who's going to be uh, in charge of managing, because uh, we're going to be filming over three cinema, we're going to be screening over three cinemas, so we'll be creating um, three digital cinema packages uh, for the cinema, um, which are going to be conformed and checked by Gary, and we are performing a test screening check, um, so that uh, there is uh, clear uh, deliverables for the editor um, so that there's no problems with the exporting and the aspect ratios. Um, so, who are our members? Who are the people coming on our course? Um, they're very keen, uh, they're very enthusiastic, they, everyone wants to do well. Um, and it's our job really to ensure that they have their expectations met, uh, that they all enjoy the course and that they're able to sort of grow and learn on the course. And us as tutors and course, assistant, uh, course assistants um, are there really to make sure that that's, that's what's happening. Um, there are, of course, some ground rules set by National Youth Film Academy, um, and we'll just run through that now. Um, that we should use our best endeavours to promote the interests of the National Youth Film Academy, and unless prevented by ill health or accident, work the hours of Monday to Friday, 9am to 5am. Um, we are required to attend the staff briefing at the beginning of each day. Uh, if we're unable to provide the services due to illness or injury, uh, you shall notify Lucy Archer at the National Youth Film Academy as soon as reasonably possible. You must comply with the National Youth Film Academy's policies on safeguarding and harassment. Um, we can talk about that in a minute. Uh, you must wear the provided National Youth Film Academy uniform, either the polo shirt or the jacket. Um, Course tutors are not permitted to enter the course participants' accommodation. Um, course assistants must stay in at the via Lewisham accommodation for the duration of the course. All documents, manuals, hardware and software provided for your use by the National Youth Film Academy and any data or documents including copies produced, manipulated or stored on National Youth Film Academy's computer systems or other electronic equipment remain in the property of National Youth Film Academy. Uh, course assistants will chaperone participants through the course. You're responsible for your group being in the right place at the right time. And we operate on a no tolerance policy of illegal drug use. Uh, if you're caught taking or involved in the taking of illegal drugs during the duration of the course, you will be immediately dismissed with no payment for your time you have already worked. Um, so touching on safeguarding and anti-harassment, um, Again, if there's any, I mean, if there's all con any concerns um, about any of your members or any of the staff, um, however big or small, uh, involving welfare, uh, you must tell uh, Johnny Hall, who is our safeguarding officer. Um, Anti-harassment is really about um, not having any sexual relationships with any of the members. Uh, not doing any uh, inappropriate uh, behaviour um, as a employee. Um, so, why use forms for filmmaking? Um, I'm going to give you a little case study on um, my own, uh, like a little scene that I've uh, made for my own short film uh, that I'm working on. Um, and uh, just to sort of introduce you, this is one of my favourite photographers. There are a couple. 
um, and they make these really absurd uh, photographs. Um, and it's something that I find interesting. So as a reference uh, to where I was coming from uh, in the scene that I'm going to show you, uh, this is like um, an idea board or a mood board. Um, uh, this is references um, of other stills um, that I'm referring to, uh, maybe when I'm talking to my cinematographer, production designer, um, everyone who helped me on, on, on filming this particular scene. Um, these are the mood boards, and I'm showing you these because these are the things we're asking uh, for the students to do, so I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Um, here's another reference for this um, scene that I'm going to be showing you, um, which is the amazing Spider-Man. Um, now, these are a uh, storyboard image uh, for the scene, and uh, here's some storyboards images uh, of the scene. Um, these were prop reference pictures that I had uh, for the scene. Uh, that's the script of the scene, so it's just a half pager. Um, in the dead of night, science equipment and strange looking lab experiments bubble away. Um, now, this is props being developed by my production designer. Um, these are the shooting schedule and shot list um, that we created uh, for before filming. Um, we obviously went on location scout and we decided that uh, having attempted a risk assessment far too dangerous uh, so we actually changed to inside um, a classroom a studio instead uh, these are this is my call sheet for that day um, where I've put the information of uh, who what where and when what scenes I'm filming uh, what's the scene number, what's the set, what page is it on in the script, uh, which cast is needed. Um, I've used the cast numbers, I've put the cast ID numbers here, explained who needs to be there, and I've made any other special requirements about the camera, grip, props, dressing, uh, makeup, and uh, where the toilets are, uh, etc. Um, I did actually make some notes for the actors as well about their hair and makeup um, and what costumes they need. And then we went ahead and made the production design for the set. Uh, this is us setting it up. And this is us blocking, uh, rehearsing and blocking. Uh, these are some reports. We didn't actually do continuity on this one, but that's a sound report. Um, these are the uh, VFX notes. Um, I'm just going to play you that scene. And the reason why I'm doing this is to... So we're talking about filmmaking. There you go. 
Um, so that is a um, an example, really, of how um, I've used paperwork uh, to help me to improve my own uh, practice and production value uh, to enable me to uh, work as best I can as a filmmaker. Um, and that's really uh, why we've put uh, the paperwork in place uh, that I'm about to go through with you now. Um, and I'm going to go through it with you so that you know how to use it. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with it, some things you might be familiar with, absolutely familiar with. Uh, so I'll go through it as quickly as I can um, and just let me know, you can let me know if you, if you want any further clarification on anything. Uh, so for over the, the 10 days, the first three days are pre-production um, and this is how it's going to run. So day one, we turn up um, on the tutor planner. Um, I've got, I've put Lucy's contact information, uh, Johnny's contact information and my own contact information um, as well as a list of uh, members forms and deadlines so the members are going to be receiving uh, will have all these uh, forms um, and um, there are days when they're due in so the mood board and storyboard film agreement and shooting schedule are all due in tomorrow <laughs> day two um, and at different times and they will be so the mood board is due in by the director and this is for you to tick off um, and so uh, it's going to be um, allocated uh, who fills out what and when they and when they hand it in. Um, on the tutor plan on the second course, uh, this will be filled out, uh, who the tutor is, who the course assistant is, what room you're in, and you can make any notes you want on your tutor planner. So the tutor planner day one is going to look exactly like this. Um, so we're in pre-production um, at 8.15 in the morning, uh, we're meeting uh, in a staff room uh, to get information. Uh, we're registering our group on our registration app um, and we are travelling to the O2 and there'll be a movement order, um, which I think it takes about 30 minutes uh, on the bus. Um, we've got a welcome at the O2, uh, we'll have keynote speakers. Um, we'll have lunch, we travel back to Greenwich University um, and that's where uh, we'll be in our tutor groups. Um, we'll go, you, uh, you as tutors, uh, we'll go through the ground rules and the paperwork um, that's in the production pack and um, the expectations of their behaviour. Um, you can have an icebreaker, um, I think we're going to have some question cards uh, in the production pack and we'll get uh, participants comfortable with each other. Um, we're going to then go on and do some acting workshops and individual workshops uh, which are going to be pre-prepared uh, improvisational ideas from the directors and writers so that they can um, look at the actors and sort of audition for the roles that they, they, they're already uh, thinking about doing for their short film. Um, we're going to be then looking at synopsis and script writing uh, and this is going to be done in your tutor groups and perhaps there might be some recce's um, as well. Um, so here is about resources, what resources you're going to need for the session. Um, this says what the purpose, what's the point of the session and these are extra notes. So. Um, the course assistant uh, will go on a recce uh, with with any of the uh, producer and crew um, who want to go and look around for locations to film in. Um, you, you might carry on uh, with the um, writers and um, carry on with starting to fill out the, 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 the paperwork. Um, at the bottom here, oh, Sorry, at the bottom here it says what forms are due in and any reminders. So the director needs to fill out the mood board and the storyboard to give in tomorrow. Um, the producer and the assistant producers to give their filming agreement in tomorrow. Uh, and the writer needs to work on the synopsis sheet. 
uh, the synopsis sheet needs to be filled out because of the pitching uh, event that happens uh, on day two. Um, I think it's day two. Well, let's double check that. Um, okay, so so each producer will have a producer tick list. So this is the paperwork that they'll be receiving. Um, so the producer has a tick list of uh, the paperwork. So mood board, storyboard, filming agreement, shooting schedule, cast list, synopsis, risk assessment, uh, script. Obviously, they've got to create that themselves. Budget breakdown, call sheet, continuity log sheet, release forms, location agreement, and editing notes. Okay. Um, so the mood board will be pretty empty. You'll get digital copies of this as well so that they can fill that in uh, on the computers. Um, um, which is just a collage of stills, um, as I've shown you already. Um, there's a storyboard template as well uh, for them to start to fill out. Um, I've written a filming agreement here, uh, mainly because um, uh, the Greenwich of University, um, they've said that we can use the courtyard in the centre of the Queen Anne's building, uh, which is the courtyard here. Uh, and a small area outside the Druggernaut building, so I think around around here. Um, but um, we need to have, they need to write out risk assessments to be able to film on site, um, if that's what they're wanting to do. Um, the rest of the university campus is run by Ian Urchin um, at Greenwich Foundation for the Old Royal Naval College. His base is actually here, number six. Um, and if you're wanting to film anywhere else on the grounds, you do need his permission. Um, I want the members to um, if the, to look up who to contact. So if they're in public places in Greenwich, they're wanting to film in public places in Greenwich, they need to contact the local borough to, just to let them know. It shouldn't be a problem, but they do need to let them know. And if they're wanting to film in public places in London, they need to let them know. Um, so they need to look that information up as good practice. Um, if you're filming at private property, I think they still need to do a signed location agreement and risk assessment, um, even if it's their their own place or you know their mum's garden or whatever. Um, they still need to have an agreement. Um, so this is a filming agreement that the producer needs to sign and the assistant directors to say that they will comply. Uh, with filling out risk assessments and um, location agreements, okay? So <coughs> those are the things we want to cover in day one. Um, and day one is obviously all about making bonds and getting ideas out, um, and that's what our job is. On day two, um, we are in pre-production. We're going to be registering. Um, Will be there'll be a pre-production talk in the studio, um, and the course assistant will go with the producers and the ads for that talk. Um, the rest will be doing scene development with the actors, um, which will be a more in-depth uh, participation between the actors, the directors, and the writers. Um, then they can improvise and break down their key scenes, uh, so they can get the actors to improvise out their ideas. Um, to help them develop the story. Um, then after lunch, there's going to be a safety on set talk um, for the producers, ADs and the crew. Uh, there'll be an acting for screen uh, for the actors and a writing development for the writers and director. Uh, so everyone will be in different um different talks then uh, just on on campus in the studios um, and then in the afternoon it, everyone gets back together um, to carry on uh, working on their development and their pre-production okay so they can complete filling out the forms and carry on location scouting um, you could carry on scene development rehearsals uh, you could begin a social media page for the short film um, the course assistant can help the director and producer to pitch their rehearsals for tomorrow morning, uh, the pitch the pitch uh, event that happens, sorry, not on day two, on day three. Um, and it will say here, so the forms due in are the mood board, the storyboard, uh, the film agreements, uh, shooting schedule, 
these are all the things that are going to be due in um, tomorrow and uh, reminders as well about when things are needed. Um, this form here is for the writers to fill out. Uh, it's really just to help them. So um, if it's not helpful, uh, it doesn't have to be filled out. But uh, it's got some prompts there, uh, some uh, of uh, of like uh, concepts. So what kind of concept is it? Uh, what's the lead characters? What's the character arc? What's the main conflict? Uh, what's the message? What are the acts? Tagline synopsis. Uh, we definitely need a, a short synopsis, um, which needs to be handed in as that goes into the program. Um, so that will be needed, but that will be uh, just a, just uh, one or two lines. Um, also, we can start to write out the cast list uh, about what the character names are, what's the cast name, and what scenes they're in. Um, this is a shooting schedule. Um, it's just for day one, two, three, and four. So as they start to figure out everything out, um, they can start to really start to write down what locations and what scenes and what cast are going to be. Like say for day one, we're going to be doing scene two um, in X location uh, with um, the cast there. And um, we do need to get that handed in uh, or, or shared uh, on in our shared area online as tutors, um, really just to prevent any... Um, clashes so uh, if there's like eight groups who all want to film in the courtyard uh, we could start to flag that up so that's really why that's there um, because I've got a group filming overview here um, so that we can just sort of see um, it's really just about the location so if there, there's 19 groups of us um, we want to be able to see whether whether there's um, any problems there that makes sense. Um, okay, so day three, we're our last day of pre-production, um, and we're going to be off traveling up to the O2 uh, where the pitch um, session happens. So the producer and the director have prepared a wonderful five-minute pitch uh, to um, pitch to everybody else, and the winner of the pitch gets an extra, I think, hundred pounds towards their budget. Um, so they tend to be very exciting pitches indeed. Uh, we've also got two guest speakers who are going to be talking. Um, then we'll be moving back to Greenwich University uh, for our final pre-production and rehearsals. Um, again, this time here for tutors uh, is I'm, I'm going to provide you with some lesson plans, um, but it really is for you to guide your group uh, to, to, to the direction that they need to go so I'm sure every group uh, will will work differently and have different requirements so it's up to you really to figure out what's going to help how to move these um, sessions forward uh, so that they're ready for filming the next day um, so you'll want your uh, final draft of your script due in um, and we'll want the risk assessments due in um, And you'll want your assistant directors to get their call sheets ready for the first day of filming. Um, there is a budget breakdown. Um, this could be a little bit too complicated, but it uh, should be okay. Because uh, they've got £150. We really do want you to record um, on writing how it's gone as well. So uh, they might have some pre-production costs, some production costs, some post-production costs. And really that's just at the end, just to write how much uh, you've spent there. Um, I'm asking you to sign this and date it uh, because uh, it's going to be up to the tutor to make sure uh, that uh, the car credit card is handed back to Lucy Archer at the end of the course. Um, so it's very important to get that card back <laughs> before before the day before uh, the course is finished, um, and when using the card, I think we we would much prefer it if the tutor uh, or the course uh, or the course assistant is using the card, not the member. Um, so this is another page of the breakdown uh, where they can list. Uh, there's a few ideas there. Um, of what they might spend the money on uh, but um, 
it, again, it, that'll be a digital copy, so you can just uh, record uh, what it was, how uh, you know, how, how many and how much it cost. Um, and there's a post uh, post production one there as well. Um, oh, I need to change that to three. Right. Um, so another form here is the contributor release form. So this is for actors to fill out. Um, so it's just their their name, their their address, and really just agreeing uh, to be in the film. Um, so important to have the release form filmed out by the actors. Um, and here's a location agreement. I've, we've tried to make this as simple as possible. So it echoes the uh, prof like a professional form, but is also kind of user friendly for for the members. So the property name, the address, whether it's inside or outside, um, and just an agreement with the producer. Um, And when when and where they're going to be filming with the, with some clauses there. Um, great. And with the property manager signature at the bottom. Um, we've also done a risk assessment. Again, I've tried to keep it as simple as possible. Um, I've given some examples here. So, uh, what the hazard is? So, filming outside public issues and working in an open public area. Uh, who may be harmed? So, what's the hazard? Um, who might it harm, the cast, the crew, public, building, um, and what the risk is and what precautions we need to make. So uh, film areas outside will be marshalled off by PAs. Uh, takes will not be more than a few minutes long, so the public wishing to cross into the production will be kindly asked to wait a few minutes and then pass for safety reasons. Um, could be uneven flooring. Um, it could be about equipment and moving equipment around. Um, and the fact that equipment needs to be placed neatly and uh, moved around um, with care. Um, so that's a blank one for them to fill in. So what's the hazard? Who, who's, who's at risk and, and what the risk is and what precautions need to be taken? Um, if any further actions need to be taken, uh, they can also write an action plan um, and who needs to do it and when. Um, Oh, sorry, I'm going the wrong way. Bear with me. Um, right, so call sheets. So we've got four call sheets. I've put the day on and the date on. Um, again, I've tried to make it as simple as possible. So they just need to fill in uh, the crew names. <clears throat> you can put the weather forecast and the sunrise and the sunset. Any special notes can go in there. Um, we do want to make it clear that we don't want any filming in the tutor room or in the halls of residence because uh, I think um, it can be a bit boring uh, the tutor rooms and the hall of residence so where possible try to avoid uh, or not film at all uh, in those areas so again just putting the scenes whether it's inside outside uh, what what it is what the what the scene is what the what page what cast uh, any notes and then filling out the um, information for the cast and any production notes that needs to to be put on um, and those need to be filled out the day before for each shoot shooting day so day four is our first day of production um, so on our tutor planner um, we're going to be registering and uh, we're shooting uh, and we're registering out again uh, tutors need to collect the equipment and just check it's okay um, there should be some labels in your pack so you can label up each of your equipment as well. Um, and at the end of the day, you need to return the equipment and check it. Um, and that really has to be the tutor who does that. Um, so when we're shooting, I mean, I think it's easy to think we've got a 12 minute film. We've got four, uh, we've got a 12 minute film. We've got four days. So, you know, if, if you, if you can get four minutes of film done a day, you are absolutely on track. Um, so what's the aim of us filming? So it's to provide the opportunity for actors and filmmakers to operate as their own production unit, to produce a 12 minute film, to be screened in the O2 cinema, uh, to share good practice, work as a team, support each other, and learn from our, the tutor and the peers, self-reflection on how to improve um, 
they're a good practice on set and learn how to sort of rehearse on set, block and film. Um, so that's up to you really as tutor and course assistant uh, to, 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 to do a good, good camera and sound test at the beginning, make sure that they understand how to use the clapperboard um, using the correct language um, of, the, of filmmaking, um, filling in continuity sheets, um, etc. Um, so we have got continuity sheets here to go to the editor. We also need to make sure that the SD cards go to the editor as well so they can start editing the next day. Um, I think we are going to have an editing day uh, prior in the pre-production. Sorry, that will get added in. Um, that came back from our feedback uh, from the course. But um, yeah, so here's some really simple continuity sheets. Um, the scene, so write the scene, the take, uh, and what notes are there. So day five, uh, I can whip through this very quickly now, um, is, is the second day of shooting, um, which is going to be as, as your um, call sheet dictates and as the shoot needs to be. Uh, day six again is day three of shooting um, and day seven is the last day of shooting and they've got the weekend there as well. Uh, so we've finished uh, all the filming um, and we're on to day eight, uh, which is the beginning of post-production. Uh, so we're registering in. Um, there are going to be speakers in the O2. Uh, and obviously the editors are going to be editing. And they've got a workshop there that they will have obviously well started uh, during your production. And there are some extra... Uh, casting workshops and filmmaking workshops that will be happening uh, on day nine a uh, very important day because the finished film needs to be in at one o'clock and um, there will be speakers in uh, the O2 um, and uh, editing workshops as well uh, the finished films will be handed in to Gary who's going to make them into a DCP um, to be screened for the next day um, so, and there will be really clear, uh, one, one sheet I haven't put on here is the editor's notes, um, which we will have an editor note sheet, which tells them the exporting settings and we'll also have, uh, for the camera, uh, which settings they need to film on as well, so that we've got the right settings for the screening. Um, and then we've got speakers in the afternoon. We're going to have a wrapper meal award, uh, in the O2, uh, all bar one, okay, to celebrate all the hard work that has happened. Um, perfect. Um, also on that day, that's when the tutors need to fill in their reports, which are very simple, just uh, saying uh, where you grade uh, the uh, each individual. Um, and really it's about how set ready do you think they are. So. Uh, 10 if you'd hire them tomorrow um, and you'll be selecting a nomination for your award as well so um, who who is the most professional who shone for you and you can select them to give them an award at the end so day 10 yay all the hard work is done and we're watching the films that will be in three cinemas um, because of the uh, amount of films we have um, and we're going to have an after screening reception as well. So if you have any questions and feedback for me, um, you're welcome to, to do that. I know it's been a lot of information, but we're at the end now. Uh, so it was Ben Satchel from ProCam who came in to talk to us. And really the key message was just about uh, when you're traveling with equipment to make sure that it's um, safe and uh, keep checking uh, the equipment and making sure that it's not knocked around um, and it's treated with um, due care. Uh, that's it really from me. I'm looking forward to meeting you in April and um, hopefully, well not hopefully, we absolutely will have an amazing two weeks. Thank you for listening. <laughs>